Xbox Game Studios has a lot of single player games coming and well today we're going to talk about it but first up if you're new to the channel please subscribe and share it really helps the channel out so Xbox Game Studios they have a wide variety of games in development right now single player multiplayer games with both and co-op now even though Microsoft has more today I'm going to talk about 10 focused single player games that they have in development right now over at Xbox Game Studios and it's going to be an awesome time for Xbox fans because the variety coming is unlike anything we've ever seen before the game's coming it couldn't be better than the original Xbox Xbox 360 and the Xbox one generation combined there's so many games coming it's actually ridiculous now first up we're going to start off with a game that's kind of flown under the radar and that being Ninja Theories Project Mara. Now this is going to be a psychological horror game that uses binaural audio to enhance the environment. Use the audio to its best and well this isn't going to be your typical horror game in a typical horror house using jump scares. It's really going to be different and personally I think it sounds fresh. And the trailer alone makes the genre look more appealing than ever because again this is different it has a different style it's cleaner it's more unique next up we have the outer worlds 2 by obsidian now obsidian are very self-aware when it comes to their own style of humor and the outer worlds was funny but the thing is other than them actually making really great rpgs they get humor they know how to do humor in a video game they proved that with south park and they proved that with the Outer Worlds. And the thing is, with Microsoft's full backing, they can go wild with the sequel. When it comes to planets, weapons, everything, every aspect of it, they can go wild. And I'm looking forward to it because, honestly, they are being let loose to make whatever they want, especially for next-gen consoles, which is exciting to hear because them, or next-gen only, it's going to be a great thing to see. Next up we have Compulsion Games, third person action game that's been in development for a while now called Project Midnight. Now Jez over from Windows Central has recently gone over this and I'll actually post the link in the description down below. But this game has been in development for years, we've been talking about this on the channel for years now. It's exciting, Compulsion making a heavily single player focused game in a third person setting but it's going to be a southern gothic game which sounds interesting because it sounds kind of fresh but when it comes to their style they get style if you've played way happy few there's nothing really like it it's creepy it's eerie but it works in their sort of clockwork orange environment it just works and they get how to do a funky atmosphere with just absolute amazing visuals they really do such a, a unique developer Next up we have Indiana Jones by Machine Games. Now Todd Howard is a big fan of Indiana Jones so this tells me that Machine Games must have had a fantastic idea because Machine Games know how to do over the top action. Now their first two Wolfenstein games are so over the top that I'm actually surprised they're on this IP which kind of makes me even more excited because they'll come up with action that no one even expects. Next up we have yet another Obsidian game, a game that may come out in 2022. And this is Project Pentiment. This is an Obsidian RPG that's also a detective game. Now not much is known in this right now other than the fact it's being made by around 12 people. Now Obsidian have proven that they can make really cool games with small teams and they also start games with small teams and they ramp up throughout development but Jeff Grubb has also said this is going to be more like Disco Elysium in a narrative sense because there's not going to be any combat in this game apparently which sounds even more interesting to me because if there's no combat in this RPG then they're going to have to lean heavy on the narrative and the story aspects which to me sounds exciting because again having a variety of games come to Xbox and Xbox Game Pass it's just more exciting you know. I wouldn't want the same genre over and over and over again but the fact that we're having just a wide variety of genres and even sub-genres is exciting and plus Obsidian on a detective game that just sounds really cool 
And the thing is, Obsidian have a really great track record when it comes to RPGs. You may not know this, they actually make some really good ones. And Obsidian have a wide range of RPGs they made in the past. They made South Park the Stick of Truth. That should not have worked, yet it did, and it was awesome. But I digress. This game sounds awesome, and it's going to be interesting the next year, especially when it comes to RPG reveals, because next E3 should be pretty wild. Next up we have one of the biggest games in development right now over at Xbox Game Studios and that being Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 by Ninja Theory. Now this game was announced in December 2019 alongside the Xbox Series X so it left a big impression. Now over the past year with development slowing down they back up in full force, they even have a brand new studio to make games in and a little space dedicated to motion capture and the motion capture tech they have looks like it rivals that of big Hollywood blockbusters which is really cool but they're going to be able to utilize next gen tech unlike anyone else you know Xbox Game Studios they actually use Unreal Engine so when it comes to this game and a few others we're going to see the best games over the next few years but with Hellblade 2 they didn't just want to do a straight up sequel you know same genre doing the same thing with a number on the end no they want to mix things up and they've hinted at the game being open world a few times now. Actually, a lot. But also, there might be big bosses. You know, the original trailer from 2019 has a massive ogre in it. So, it looks like they're really changing things up. Because the first game was extremely linear. But to this day, it's probably one of the most beautiful games ever made. It really is. So if you have an Xbox One X, fire that game up. And it still looks gorgeous. It really is. But the stuff they're going to be able to do on next gen consoles, specifically since they're focusing on Xbox, the sky's the limit and I really can't wait to see more and I don't think we'll have to wait much longer to see anything else from them. Next up we have Obsidian once again because they are extremely busy over there, Avowed. This is their Pillars of Eternity Universe RPG, it's first person and it's going to be the first RPG of its kind since Skyrim. That's right, we haven't had a first person single player RPG on this level since 2011, which it's ridiculous really, but it's Obsidian, they're going to impress us, especially with that Pillars of Eternity universe, it's going to blow people's minds. Next up, we have Perfect Dark by The Initiative and Crystal Dynamics. Now this game is going to be really interesting because this is a spy game. You play as Joanna Dark. And they've talked about how the game will be set in many different locations and locales. And the thing is, Bond, Mission Impossible, everything spy related. Books, movies, TV. You go all the way around the world. You're going to be doing that in this game. Many different locales and exotic locations to complete missions. But with Perfect Dark, you know, this is a cyberpunk universe. You know... There's going to be political intrigue when it comes to corporations. Corporations have more power than the government. And that's really cool. Like, cyberpunk is one of the most underutilized subgenres there is. And Perfect Dark's been doing this since the 90s, which is really cool. So, it's going to be cool to see Joanna Dark go all the way around the world doing these exotic missions, which, personally, I can't wait. And plus, it's taken long enough for Joanna Dark to return and it's going to be pretty awesome on Xbox Series X and S. And also the fact that we have Crystal Dynamics on the game, very exciting. Now next up we have Playground Games, Fable. So this game was announced a while back and the thing is Fable is a beloved franchise, it really is. The humour is whimsical yet kind of childish but that's kind of British humour in general and the thing is people needed to know if this was going to a British developer for the longest time and it's going to Playground Games now this game has apparently been in development for four years now so I can't imagine it'll be much longer until we see more they have developers writing the story that have worked on Batman games there's people working on this game that have worked on Red Dead, 
Uncharted, God of War. So honestly, it's kind of impressive the talent they have on Fable. So even though we have these extremely high rated racing games, you know, they are beautiful games. Their Forza Horizon series, there's no match. But it's going to be interesting to see their RPG team make something with characters, quests and all that stuff. And honestly, it's an RPG team in the UK. I just really can't wait to see more. Now finally, we have the biggest game in development right now over at Xbox Game Studios, and that's Starfield by Bethesda. Now I don't think a lot of people realise how big this game is going to be, not just in scope in the game itself, which it will be pretty huge. It's going to be huge for Bethesda, next box and Microsoft. This is going to be their third pillar RPG, alongside Fallout and Elder Scrolls. One of the main reasons why Microsoft picked up Bethesda was probably for that reason. Household names are important, especially the things like Xbox Game Pass. So when you see Dover King's face or a Brotherhood of Steel soldier in Game Pass adverts, you're probably going to see someone from Starfield in the future. It's going to be a big deal. And the thing is, this game's going to combine elements from Elder Scrolls Fallout and even games like Mass Effect. Like This game truly sounds ambitious, especially for the sci-fi video game genre. And I can't wait to see more, and it looks like we're going to be seeing more by next summer. Todd Howard recently did say in an interview that the release date isn't in pencil, it's in ink, which is really implying it's going to make its release date, which is November 11th, 2022. So this time next year, we should be playing it. And it's going to be day one Xbox Game Pass and exclusive to Xbox consoles. So, I hope everyone's enjoyed today's video. Please hit like, share and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I've got a lot of cool things coming soon. A lot of stuff planned for the channel. And I also have another episode of All Things Xbox Podcast coming this Tuesday. It's going to be an anniversary episode for the Xbox celebration. And cool stuff planned for that and there's going to be some stuff revealed during the anniversary showcase that i think people are going to like especially if you've been following me on twitter again the link will be in the description down below and if you've been following my content on here you're really going to like some of the things you're going to see at the xbox anniversary event anyway hope everyone has a good day i'm out peace